everybody to my talk about the exceed diversity of the Neotropics. My name is Elisabeth Huber. I'm part of the Austrian Sixit research team, who, uh, which is led by Anna Martina. And I'm allowed to give you a, a short uh, interim re report about our actual work. First, I want to start with a history um, about the research in the Neotropics of Sixit and also a little bit about the uh, researchers themselves. Once upon a time, um, there was John, uh, John Fabricius, and at 1789, he started um, research in the Neotropics. He was a student of Carl Linné and the founder of entomology, as you all know, and it all began with the five new species. It was Potriozola Kundata, uh, Potriozola Bicornis, Potriozola Barbula, and Nemosine Braniceps, and Flata Variegata, what is now Pintaria Variegata. After him, um, of course, there came more. Uh, the next one was a uh, German uh, entomologist, um, Ernst Bema. He was in the university in Halle and uh, attended four new species for this region. Another one, the uh, English entomologist, um, Francis Walker, worked on it too. Uh, he was employed in the British National History Museum and as a motivation he got uh, for every species description one shilling and for every genus he got one pound. So the motivation worked because he described around 20,000 uh, species in his career and also six years. Another one was Karl uh, Stoll. Um, he worked in the Swedish um, National History Museum and um, he described around 1,500 species in his life and did the first bigger step with 16, around 16 new species for the Neotropics. Carlos Berg, and also known or also named um, as Friedrich Wilhelm Karl Berg. Um, he was a Latvian and a Baltic German uh, entomologist and was invited by Burmeister um, to Argentina and um, he did there a lot of journeys to Chile, to Ar Argentina, um, Uruguay and after the retirement of Burmeister he took his place in Ar Argentina. Philip Uller, um, he didn't um, join the family tradition as a merchant. He chose to do entomology and also um, worked as a librarian. And during his um, book buying um, journeys, he could um, investigate the collections of Europe and um, could uh, do a lot of description out of there. Big name also joined the Exit research. Um, it's William Fowler. Um, he was ordained as a priest, but in his leisure time he could do um, and work on insects, what's good for us. Um, he did important work um, also in other groups like Coleoptera, but um, likely also for the Afnerica. To get no, more knowledge about it, um, Edward Van Dus worked also in this. And um, he was also a librarian and uh, an entomologist and uh, worked as a curator in California. Also, big name, um, Metcalf. Um, I think uh, all of you know him uh, the best from his catalog of From Author of the World. Um, what is really nice, he had a, a homemade um, camper on wheels, which he did his collection. So it was already quite modern thinking um, and going around with his, camp, with his camper. Frederick Moore, we, um, we um, are not allowed to forget him. Um, he mostly worked in the African and Hawaiian um, fauna, and he also established the family Kinneride and 
and um, he worked also in, as a uh, uh, as a pioneer of the biological control. <laughs> Another big step in the secret research of the South and uh, Central America was from uh, John Gladwell. Um, he did a lot of systematic work and um, uh, put around uh, 47 new species to the existing seeds of the Neotropics. And after his last publication in 1942, he went back to his other passion, it was farming, and had a good retirement there. Ronald Fenner um, did also great work um, in the Exit Research. Uh, he was uh, employed, um, he did a lot in the Caribbean islands and the Commonwealth. He worked in the British National <coughs> Museum and also in the Department of Agriculture. And um, what I uh, stories about him, what I heard, he always had in every pocket some tubes with specimens. And after um, he died, they found so much uh, in his flat and in every pocket. So he was really passionate in his working, I would say. Another one was James Kramer, um, and he um, is also, he gave his life to Afnolukia research and did, uh, was a really specialist of plant and leaf hoppers in the New World and attended also around 31 species uh, of cichlids. And Van Stade is mostly uh, well known from the reviews of, uh, of Africa of cichlids. Um, but he did fundamental work uh, of cichlids in the whole world. Louise O'Brien, I think uh, a lot of you know her personally. So um, she was born in, or is born in 1927 and was, I know from Vienna, um, still working very long on, uh, on the Afnolympia. And um, he, uh, she um, was mostly working on uh, Fulgurine and also succeeds and um, he, she was called as the mother of Fulgurmorpha or is called as the mother of Fulgurmorpha so, so I would say that it says a lot about her. That about Eduardo Fernanda Gomez Piegas and um, we heard yesterday uh, really detailed about her work. She does really great um, and attended a lot of knowledge, um, actually. And, of course, we cannot forget Charles Bartlett and his team. They're working recently on it, and um, they, he's one of the authorities in Exigits, um, what we have, actually. And um, he's in Denver, so as I think all we know. Of course, not all of them are the only ones uh, which work on this uh, family. Um, there are much more. Uh, I only picked a few of them out. Um, and actually, in 2024, there was a new paper, uh, Mifteri, so it's coming more and more and more knowledge, luckily. So, what does we have now? Um, because all of this great work, we have now um, around 250 known species in the uh, South and Central America of the cichlids. They are uh, divided into two subfamilies and um, seven tribes. It's Pintalini, Benaralini, Tikkixixtini, Nemosini, Pentasterini, Euclini, and Votoreoterini. And in these tribes, we have around uh, 45 genera. The most reported cichlid um, in South and Central America is Hablaxius crudus. Um, unfortunately, not for a good reason because it's responsible for the lethal yellowing of coconut. And we know it now from around 10 countries. The cichlid uh, distribution um, in the South and Central America is like um, that. So there's still we uh, a lot of work to do that um, we only know quite a lot uh, in Brazil because there are great teams which are working on it. Uh, also uh, Ecuador, Cuba, and Panama a bit, but 
then it's getting less and less. So to get more uh, knowledge and to attend a little bit to it, we try to work on it. Uh, with two main research topics. Of course, to um, know more about the diversity of Tixit and plant uh, Tixit in the neotropics. And the second one is to provide a key of the Exit genera of America. Uh, on what do we do that? Um, we, are, have, uh, we have two main collections which we are working on. The first is from Terry Irving. Uh, we got the Exit of his Great Canopy uh, Fogging Project in Ecuador, which was uh, based in 1994 to 1999. Uh, but the question, how many species are there? The second collection is coming from Gerhard Kunz. Um, he did um, over 20 years and still ongoing excursions to Costa Rica. And um, he, uh, one result of it is already out. It's the uh, uh, animals of Costa Rica. It's not only on the Ocanobuncula, it's demanding much more. And beautiful pictures. And we also have material from uh, Werner Hortinger and Lois O'Brien from Belize, Costa Rica and West Indies. Our methods, we are uh, working with um, dry specimens, we're studying the external morphology. We do digitalization of the specimens and um, do uh, uh, line drawings of the important characters, um, comparison with material of uh, museums of old material and our recent focus is on the genus Pintelia. So shortly um, it's the right yeah that's the Keynes um, digitalization system which we are working on it's a stitching, uh, stitching uh, photographing a system and you can really do really well all um, different sizes of characters and in different positions. So that what I do, uh, what I did in, in London during a synthesis project, I uh, digitally sized um, material from there. So all of the Pintelia species, it was around 35 um, species, a lot of type material, and also um, around 19. Botryota species, so mostly all Botryota species, what they have there, and um, for the key of uh, genera, more than 70 species, uh, species of other genera. So, what is our actual result of it? Um, as we're working on Pintelia, um, what we already know from the great history before, um, it. Uh, according to the tribe Pintalini, uh, which are containing eight other genera. And it's described from a stall in 1862 by the um, type species Pintalia lateralis. And we already know that um, 80, uh, I mean, we have 82 known species actually, but as um, the Brazilian team are providing uh, description actually, so there will be much more soon. Um, the typical characters of Pintelia are described from Mühe and China um, in as uh, the tech, really steeply tech form um, wings, the four wings. Um, also the carina of the vertex and um, a flat body. And we also intended that it's really important to look at the uh, male genitalia. Um, there you see the type species of Pintelia lateralis. Um, Fena already uh, tried to, as we heard yesterday from another genus, Pintelia is a little bit the same. Uh, it's a whole mess or a really difficult and um, uh, say, uh, or diverse, I would say. So Fena tried already to um, do a little bit of um, dividing and say, okay, uh, the characters. He did it in nine species groups, um, but it was based on the NL segment and the genital stuli. Um, so it was the first step, 
but to solving the Pintelia problem, if they are really, um, it's this one genius or more, or what, I don't know, <laughs> um, it's not enough, and we have to work on it. That's the distribution of Pintelia actually, so we know a lot from Brazil because of the great work there. Um, Ecuador is also um, on the second place, but then it's going less and less. And uh, like Costa Rica, there are at the moment um, four known species, and we already know that uh, we have much more. Our results from the Pintelia from Ecuador, we have already um, uh, 11 new species. They're in the description, so we do um, and the pictures and also the drawings. And we try to find good characters to say that's new species and also Pintelia. Uh, we also do redescriptions if we have the material for it because sometimes you see the, the old um, descriptions are for what they had in this time are quite good but um, we don't see any of the characters, uh, not all of the characters so um, we try to attend um, new drawings, new pictures so uh, to have really a good base um, to work on it. For Costa Rica, we already uh, have one uh, new description. It's finished, Pintania uh, Hane. And um, the others are, as in Ecuador, in, in progress. That's more older. So we also worked on the Penalini and uh, described two new genera and um, three new species uh, in this track. So I think this work you already know. And uh, we did other discoveries uh, during working with Pintelia. We have already one new genius from Ecuador, which is looking like that. And um, we are thinking that there are more into it. And the second one is the key um, to the genre of America. So we have already the first draft. But um, as the Pintalini, uh, for example, are not quite easy to separate, we are still working on this question and um, to solve it, to have good characters, to provide a good and solid key. We are working with, that, with Charles Bartlett and his team, and so we hope that we can provide it soon. I would thank uh, everybody for the support in our work and thank you for the, uh, listening.